An enzyme is a special type of protein. All enzymes are proteins, but not all proteins are enzymes. Enzymes act as biological catalysts and help speed along chemical reactions in organisms. For example, with the help of an enzyme, a macromolecule that might not usually be able to break apart can now break more easily. How exactly does an enzyme do that? Well, every reaction requires some amount of energy to perform, whether it's breaking apart molecules or putting together molecules or changing a molecule's shape, they all need energy input. The red line on this activation potential graph maps out the path that an e the energy takes during a reaction. You can see that this reaction is favorable because the energy level at the end is less than the energy level at the beginning. So when this reaction occurs, this much energy is gained. Despite its favorability, however, the reaction is prevented from occurring often because of this really high activation energy. The activation energy is the amount of energy that needs to be put into reaction for it to begin. You can think of it as like an investment. So it's like you put in a lot of energy into the reaction, but once the reaction occurs, you gain more energy than you put in. Nonetheless, a high activation energy is still an obstacle to the reaction, and this is when enzymes come in to save the day. When an enzyme bonds the reactants, it lowers the activation energy. So it takes the activation energy from somewhere up here all the way down here at the top of the green bump. It does this by either, for example, applying pressure to the bonds in a molecule that need to break, or bringing two molecules closer together that need to bond. Once the activation energy is lowered, it is much easier for the reaction to occur. So, with the help of enzymes, the reactants can go into the reaction, react, and then products come out. After reaction, an enzyme stays intact and is reused. The molecules or chemicals that enzymes work on are called substrates, so these things over here. Substrates then bind to the enzyme's active site right there. Once they bond into the active site, the enzyme will sort of change its shape to fit more snugly around the substrate, and this is called the induced fit model. All enzymes are sp specific to particular molecules or chemicals and are usually named after their substrate with an added suffix ace. So for example, the enzyme that breaks down sucrose is called sucrase and the enzyme that breaks down lactose is called lactase. Generally, if you see the suffix ace, you can safely assume it's an enzyme. But not all enzymes end in ace. So sometimes enzymes need help catalyzing a reaction and coenzymes and cofactors will help enzymes work even faster and better. Coenzymes are vitamins and cofactors are minerals. So that's why it's so important for you to get the right amount of vitamins and minerals in your daily diet. Here's an example of how enzymes work. Remember the bread example I used for carbohydrates made out of saccharides? Basically, if you chew on a piece of bread for a while, it starts tasting sweet. The carbs are being broken down into sugars by enzymes in your mouth. Now consider, if you were to put bread in water and just let it sit there for a while, it wouldn't taste any sweeter if you drank it immediately. I know it sounds a little gross, but my point is that there are no enzymes in the water, so the carbohydrates can't break down into sugars without the help of these enzymes. So it's only with the help of enzymes in your saliva that the polysaccharides slowly break back down into monosaccharides.